Greetings, welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's go for the level later, maybe? Yes, I can defeat them with without getting hit. Don't worry. Get here. Thank you. It will be all over soon. Okay. No. Oh. Damn it. Thank you. Really are a devil, aren't you? Come on, grab it. thank you. A tear between worlds. A thing that cannot be yet is. Yeah, mate. I hope that is the oh. curse that ends your quest. I'm not really using my weapon abilities, though. Games aren't designed. Not in the way you think. They grow as we work on them. They evolve around the players who flow through. The things they love and hate become part of our firmament. That is so accurate, is actually. True creator. Draw me your blessings. Oh. I saw some things. Hmm. You don't want my swords? Really? Hmm. Okay, never mind then. I leave you with your blessings. Feast. Hey, Family. I'll give you five food. Everything in between. Eh. Okay, I will I know not to go to the market. Place, I think. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Okay. I appreciate your ingenuity. Oh. Okay. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Again, a token is at stake. Today, all recruits will learn to use magical weapon abilities. It's unlikely that. That any of you will see or use one of these in actual combat, but you never know when some overambitious hero is going to drop dead beside you. Knowing how to activate a magical item can mean the difference between life and death. Magical weapon abilities need time to cool down between each usage, but can be used any number of times per battle. I feel kinda sorry for, the, for those rats. They're training buddies. Die one hit. Yes, I know. Really, this should have been on the first encounter instead of. Yeah. Stop running! Really? Oh, they cannot even hit me. Okay. Done.
Remember to use a magical weapon to its full potential if you ever get the chance. Thank you. Graduation. I think we've just done the whole... Apprentice. Encounter. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Just show me what you have. Oh, that's nice. We'll sail this maze. Really, where am I? Hey. But my swords are gone. Give me this. Yes, I would rather have Faster is this. always better. Then I'll buy some more food. With only three food, you'd better hope to finish this quickly or I have will finish it for twelve you. rations of food, excuse you. Oh, the plan that you hatched with Carlo has you getting aboard the trading vessel Peregrine's Talon, which follows the same path as the smuggling ships from Norwich. However, to avoid more surprise visitors at the tavern, you've agreed to masquerade as a spice merchant. You approach the guard at the front gate and show him your paperwork. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Was only one <laughs> failure, and it was me. Yay! During the process allowing you entry, he suddenly stops. The peregrine's talent is due to leave at noon. You best hurry if you want to make it. He reaches into his pocket and stamps your paperwork with a seal. Show this to the customs officer, and it should help you get. And it should help get you boarded in time. You head straight to the front of the customs queue with your already stamped paperwork and a wave straight onto the boat. A booming shout holds your cargo being loaded into the hold of the tail and its captain approaches. I am Captain Burger. I did not recognize your name or that of your guild on the manifest. We see very few spice merchants from the Fire Isles here in Esther Sea. If you're going to sail with us, then I need to know some more about you. Oh no, you don't need to know anything about me. A choice. This one? Select your desire. Okay. You probably what little you know of Amber sees into a string of compliments regarding the quality of Captain Boga's ship and point out that the captain's skepticism is a sign of his professionalism. Your cargo is swiftly loaded and you set sail. Out on the sea, the peregrine's route quickly meets up with that of the smugglers. Captain Burger notices how closely you are watching it. Do not worry, my friend. Those brigands will not attack us. They have their own cargo to worry about. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you wish you'd left untouched. Suddenly, out of the water springs the tentacles of the Kraken, blanketing the smuggler's boat with a ferocious speed. The smugglers are brought to leap into the water to find safety. Unfortunately for you, their nearest refugee is the Peregrine Stalin. Soon bandits are boarding from all sides, intent on commandering the ship to make up for the one that they just lost to the Kraken. You direct Captain Broger to get all his crew ready or something, I don't know, it automatically done that, it wasn't, it's not my fault. Sorry.
No! Damn it! Such a shame. With the ship safe, once again you confess to Captain Broger that you were in fact here investigating the smuggling boats and their connection to the Kraken. I'll consider you saving the ship a fair trade for lies. Thank you. Oh. Let us take a token on their foolishness. The next time you come across the tray of the white minotaur, you are surprised to also find tracks that may belong to the huntsman. You follow the tracks to a nearby glade where you spot them locked in a duel to the death. The huntsman parries and rolls away from the minotaur's charge. They exchange blows and the minotaur smashes down his maze, causing sparks of arcane energy to shoot from its tip. The huntsman spots you out of the corner of his eye and a look of surprise flickers momentarily across his face. This moment is long enough to distract him and the white minotaur smashes him to the ground with his maze and gores him with one of his horns. The minotaur roars in triumph before turning towards you. I don't wanna. Mm -mm. I don't wanna. Can I just leave? Please? You can still see the blood of the huntsman, I guess. Okay. Whoa, run! Come on! Come on! Wait! Oh, I've been hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what? That's kind of cheating, don't you think? Whoa, okay, definitely don't try to... Come on, come here. Once is enough for him, I guess. Okay, come here. Please do not change camera like that. No! Okay, come here. You're awfully calm and I don't trust you. Getting there. Okay. I got ready. Ah! 
It kind of worked. Ooh. No, that was too late this time. Come on, you know what you want to do. Yes, that's it. Okay, I have no idea what hit me there. Okay, you big. Oh my goodness, I missed. Ah! Yes! Oh! The white Minotaur forced the ground defeated. You. Again you trade and again you profit. In your dreams one night you are summoned to a fire pit and greeted by a familiar demon. Riddance mortal, I am again in need of spiritual fulfillment. Trade you another magical item for it? Okay. And he took he didn't take my Guardian Origin. <laughs> Guardian Angel. Luckily. I think we might die soon. Why? But hey, at least we've got done with Minotaur and hopefully with the Underworld. Yep, we need sure that's the right approach. I don't know what's the right approach. That's the thing. Yeah, I'll give you half of my food. Thank you. The gods look upon you favorably. That's why I'm nearly near death. Yeah, six of click. I don't really wanna fight with the higher figures without any equipment yeah oh i forgot that i don't have my shield and i cannot parry their attacks It's a shame that they cannot drop them down. But I think we're done, yeah. Okay. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? Okay, but I think we're gonna Another end here now, small one. Let's see how you deal with it. But there's nothing here. Okay. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. We will start starving. Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. Oh. Ouch. If only you had a meal. You pass by an ominous mountain peak, rumored to be the home of an oracle of the old gods. The path to the oracle is not long, but arduous and often dangerous. I'll try. 
You set off up the thin rocky path. Sometime later you hear voices in the trees ahead. Our king of dust again returns, with his companions by his side. Travelers bringing gold for the oracle are often an easy target, it seems. They are sure to notice if you get any closer, but haven't seen you yet. You know what? I will attack them. Maybe maybe I should have taken the other path in order to meet an oracle. That I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know really. I don't know what the right answer is. Usually the bloodshed is not the right answer. That much I can tell you. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Ah! Whoa! Come on, let me go. Oh, those lizard men are so annoying. They just go like. Ah! Blocking my attacks. Against others. You! Really? I was behind the trap. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you quickly search the bodies of the fallen and then continue on your way to the oracle. The oracle sits in a darkened haze of smoke and incense. An attendant waits patiently for a decision. Oracle's leaf from wither silently in the darkness for some time, then whispers to the attendant. Okay. No, mom. The, the attendant continues to relate what the oracle has revealed. Oh. Your path back down the mountain is relatively uneventful. Nobly mind or simply no. Oh. With any money. I'll just play until the is a fine companion. Starvation. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Death. We use the word so often. You run out of food and you die. You lose your health and you die. Of course I will beat my blood. We do not speak of the true death. The final oh. oblivion. Only Wait. the death of the game. Where your peace begins again and moves across Damn it. the table. So this I game, like all games, touches on that true death, however. For a life must be lost. And lost for all time. And so I we die. If I, could. I cannot break the rules in your favor any more than in my own. No, oh, well. A sad way to end. I had such challenges prepared for you. Such is life. That's what like. treasures retrieved from death and disaster. Oh. That's nice. There is another one. Uh, no, but it doesn't have. It 
open, so that's what we're doing with the underworld. And so we're done with the white minotaur. And that is it for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.